Hi, um, this is the third part of uh, my tutorial, my video tutorial on uh, how to design a website using CSS and HTML in Dreamweaver. So in the first part uh, we did the site definition, uh, in the second part we created the basic uh, or the first two files which are the index and the master CSS and index HTML. Sorry. Um, now, um, I'm going to explain you what uh, my website is going to look like. So basically, I have here a wireframe. What is a wireframe? The wireframe is a basic diagram of what my, look, my website will look like. So what I have here is basically a 1024 pixels wide uh, website for, uh, for 768, sorry, 768 pixels tall. Uh, with the top banner here, with the menu on the top, um, uh, column one, column two, and content. All right, uh, at the bottom we have our footer. Uh, so basically, um, this uh, diagram will shed lights on what I'm going to do next in Dreamweaver. So uh, please bear in mind this, uh, it's very important, before you start your website, before you start designing your website, make sure you know what you're going to do. Um, so it's always uh, useful to have, a, to use pen and paper to, you know, uh, draw a wireframe. Um, okay, now next I'm going to uh, go into Dreamweaver, into my index uh, file index HTML which is inside my site. This is what we created or we uh, did on our first tutorial, define this my site site. Right, so I have my index HTML, I have my master CSS uh, file and now I'm going to create uh, my divs. So a div is basically a box. Okay, everything you see uh, in online or in a website is um, inside boxes. So the first um, div um, I'm going to uh, create is called uh, wrapper. Okay, wrapper. So uh, an important thing, please uh, make sure you close your uh, divs or you close all your tags in HTML, uh, also in CSS and any other sort of uh, coding program or uh, language because um, if you don't do that uh, you will have problems you encounter problems yeah you will have errors in future and it's very easy to make these sort of mistakes and it's very easy to forget this but it's very very difficult to fix these problems uh, when you have uh, big or long um, parts of code in your in your file so please just be careful be extra careful yeah, we all make mistakes, but please just be extra careful. So I have my div ID wrapper. Okay, so I'm going to just extend this a little bit. And um, what is the wrapper? Basically, the wrapper or the container is this uh, box outside everything, the one that contains the rest of boxes. Um, the next uh, div... I'm going to create is um, be careful. See, uh, is my banner okay? Uh, after my banner, I'm going to create uh, my menu. I suppose I'm going to call this menu top. I'm gonna call it top because eventually I will have an extra menu on the side. So just to make sure um, I have everything clear. Please name this properly um, because, again, it's always better to have things clear. Um, the, ID, the next one is going to be probably um, the column one. You can call it column left. Okay. Um, the next one is going to be my column right. Um, then I will have my 
content, right? Um, content, and finally, I will have my. Oops, again, be careful. Then I will have my footer here. Footer uh, that should be all right. And uh, yeah, make sure all the tags are closed and make sure everything is organized. Remember, names are important. Put relevant names here that you know will, will help you to understand what you are doing. So you know the column left is the column that goes on the left, the column right goes on the right, the content, the footer, you know exactly what you are doing. All right, so I'm going to save this, um, press Command S or Control S in Windows. And now, um, if I preview this in my browser, I won't have, oops, I won't have anything because uh, I haven't really done anything. I haven't inserted anything inside my uh, my boxes here, my divs. So, so far is, uh, it's empty. Um, I think that's all. Uh, before, before I close this, um, I would like to have a name for my site. Usually, uh, it's, it reads here on title. So please just remove that on title name and type a relevant name again. So I'm going to call this my first website, right? So uh, having, uh, having the title for your website as on title or strange names or irrelevant names does not look professional, does not look good, uh, look very amateurish. So please just avoid all this. Uh, once again, be very organized, be very careful, and uh, I think that's it for now. On our in our next um, uh, tutorial, I will start working on my CSS to uh, make sure this starts looking a little bit better in my browser. All right. So finally, Command S, save it, and that's it for now. So if you have any question, uh, just uh, send me an email or drop a line. I'm very happy to. Uh, help you out. Thank you.